North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services has revoked Trails Carolina's license after a 12 year old boy was found dead in February. Yeah, he was the second child to die at the camp in a decade. WBTV has been investigating safety issues at that wilderness camp for years. Investigative reporter David Hodges joins us live in studio with the latest developments. David? The license revocation comes after state regulators took a survey of the camp in March and found a host of issues. Those findings were upheld and the camp is running out of opportunities to fight back against a permanent closure. The suspension will take place in 60 days unless the wilderness camp files a petition contesting the revocation. The revocation of Trails Carolina's license comes after camp staff met with NCDHHS in April to review violations the state agency found against the camp during a survey. Those violations were upheld, including failures to follow medication requirements and protect camp members from harm, abuse and neglect. Investigative reporter Nick Oxner has been digging deeper into problems with this camp for years, and his reporting has found that some of the violations now cited have been overlooked by state regulators until the most recent death at the camp. WBTV will continue investigating, and you can count on our reporting to keep looking for more answers. Jamie?